Hi, I'm Brett Simon. I'm the All Schools AD at Sacred Heart Prep. We looked all over the country when this, this field, which is our premier field, um, where we host our football, lacrosse, and soccer games. We also um, have a lot of practices here. And we do PE as well with um, our lower school. We're a school that has um, kids as young as preschoolers all the way up through 12th grade in our full athletics program. I was sent out on a mission to find a, a field that was safe, um, had great playability, and something that we could live with for the long term here for a long time and even look at as a possible replacement for other fields in our, on our campus as they uh, wore out or, or needed replacement. So we, uh, I visited other states, I visited colleges, I talked with coaching friends, um, and they recommended a, a few fields that they really liked at a, a couple other colleges. Um, went and visited, I even took my teenage boys and put them in a soccer camp um, to have them get a feel for um, what it was like to play on those surfaces, and they happened to be in the summer when it was very warm, one in, in the state of Nebraska and 96 in a humid day, um, to see how that played, how they felt, um, how their feet felt, how hot it was, um, um, what their endurance was like in that kind of, uh, in that kind of environment. So, I'm Mark Grebe, I'm the program director and head football coach at Sacred Heart Prep in Atherton, California. I can just tell you that the, this playing surface for us was fantastic. In terms of the off season and practice, uh, it provided you know great footing on a daily basis along with you know this temperature difference between what normal turf is and this field um, really was a, a good situation especially when you're practicing over the over the summer like we do um, and we had some days uh, we played one game this year it was 105 degrees and uh, you know, and the, and the field really wasn't a factor in terms of adding to that heat. Our number one concern, of course, is always safety. And there have been a lot of questions about uh, the safety of the infill rubber fields, and uh, we felt like we needed to look at alternatives. Um, and as we looked at alternatives, um, green play, and, and we thought was the best alternative we found that fit with what we wanted for a great playable surface combined with our AstroTurf field um, that we looked at and, and we've really been happy. The other part that you know our trainers noticed is that uh, in, a, in addition to being a great surface to play on and being cool, um, it also, uh, we had a lot less turf burns. It was one of our big concerns was about maintenance. We, uh, we, we knew that there'd be uh, waves in the field or, or areas that were, were barren and others that had a lot of infill. Uh, do we have a lot uh, of infill that would leave, uh, leave the surface completely? Um, how would we maintain it? How much water would it need, if any? Um, so when we looked at all those things, we had a lot of questions. We asked a lot of questions. Um, we liked the answers, and what we found is it's actually been better than we thought. About 15, 16 months in, we have not had to replace any of the uh, infill at this point. So uh, from all those perspectives, it's been easy, it's been simple, and uh, it's, it's worked out really well. I would recommend this one to anyone who wants a, a safe, reliable field that plays well uh, for a variety of sports and life. If you're going to replace your field, I would say definitely this is the way to go. It's really been successful. All our coaches uh, are happy with it, and uh, we as an administration are, are very happy with how this has worked.